Hello Leo, thank you so much for checking out this video. This is going to be a love reading. It's going to be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and it will be a general love reading, so it will not resonate with everyone watching. Take what resonates, leave the rest, and check out your other placements, your Moon, your Rising, your Venus, to see if that resonates. Sometimes they can res resonate more. All right, so let's get into it, Leo. Using the Druid Craft Tarot deck, I have all of the decks that I'm using linked in the description box if you're interested. For Leo, please. Huge thank you to everyone who has liked, commented, subscribed. I really appreciate it. I read all of your comments. So thank you for supporting the channel. Oh, we got the Princess of Cups reverse. Page of Cups here. So some, some sort of heartbreak has, has happened or someone is feeling heartbroken. This could be you, Leo. Um, I could also be talking about the person you are interested in because the rules can be reversed. We got the nine of wands that flipped out here, reversed as well. And just so you guys know, reversals are not bad. It just means the message is different. That's really all it means. The card, the message of the card is different. Um, all right, let's see. Anything else for Leo? Hmm, that's a lot. I think I'm going to take them. Princess of Swords. This is the Page of Swords here. Someone wants to talk, communicate. Four of Wands reverse. Lack of stability in a home. Lack of harmony. Um, interesting. Three of Pentacles reverse. And the Star. Aquarius energy here with the Star. So someone is uh, not giving up hope, trying to keep the faith. Someone has a wish, maybe, uh, something that they want, that they have faith in. Um, there's a renewal here, maybe some healing that's taking place or that needs to take place. Three of Pentacles reverse. This is something that's not working out. The foundation has not been able to be built. Uh, people can't work together here with the Three of Pentacles reverse. Uh, there could also be some sort of interference here. Um, does not have to be another romantic uh, partner. It could be anything that's interfering in the connection. Uh, finances, distance, family, etc. Someone wants to talk. There's a message that wants to be delivered here or that someone wants to send to you. Um, or this is you wanting to communicate with someone else. And I feel like Whoever wants to communicate here has hope or faith that it's going to renew something, heal something, um, or, or bring back hope to a situation. And I say bring back hope because the Nine of Wands reverse to me is someone that's given up. Um, it could also mean someone has their guard down, their walls are down as well. We'll clarify all of these so I can get more messages. But someone possibly gave up on something because they the emotion um they're heartbroken disappointed with the page of cups reverse there's something here that wasn't able to be fulfilled or that wasn't able to happen maybe a message of love didn't come maybe it was intercepted or maybe love hasn't worked out um we'll clarify that as well there's some sort of heartbreak and i think it's tied to whatever instability is happening in the home or where someone is at with the four of wands reversed this is a lack of harmony a fracture in a stable foundation bottom of the deck we have the nine of swords someone's worried stressed out uh, having sleepless nights guilt anxiety so this is not a good situation to be in here um, i feel like whoever is dealing with a difficulty in their life or this lack of stability or what's not working out, or this heartbreak, they're not dealing with it very well. And again, Leo, this could be you or the person you are dealing with. So let's get into this. Let's see if I can shuffle this. For Leo, please. For Leo, please, what do you need to know? 
regarding this situation, sir. What do they need to know? Sorry, I had to split the deck because if I don't, it just goes everywhere and it's just a terrible shuffle. All right, so let's see. For Leo. Let's start with this page of cups reverse. Let's see what was the heartbreak here, the disappointment. Tell me about the page of cups reverse. For Leo, please. Seven of Wands. Someone could have um, blocked someone else. Um, someone could be resisting someone else's um, love or not wanting to hear someone's message of love. Um, someone could just be defensive because of the heartbreak. Let's see what else we can get. Tell me more about this Page of Cups reverse, please. Seven of Pentacles reverse. Someone waited for something and it didn't pan out. Another seven here. Someone waited for or thought and, and hoped that something would play out and it didn't and it was very heartbreaking. Tell me more about this Page of Cups reverse, please. There we go. Ooh, the Chariot. Cancer energy here. Someone wants to move forward from this, possibly from... Um, the Seven of Pentacles reverse is tends to be someone who feels they've wasted their time, that they've invested in the wrong thing, that they've put effort in the wrong thing. They have doubts that nothing will happen and those doubts end up being true. I feel like someone wants to move away from this energy. Someone wants to move forward. They want to have success. They want to choose the right direction um, because where they're at is not happy. They weren't able to fulfill something, make something happen. And it's heartbreaking. It's disappointing. It could also be that one person in this connection wants to move forward and the other person is just resisting. Like they do not want what this person wants. You know, like one person's like, let's go. And the other one's like, no, <laughs> I don't. I don't want to go with you. I don't want to do this. I don't want to move forward with you. I don't want to move, period. Bottom of the deck, I have the lovers, Gemini energy. I definitely think that has to do with a choice between the head or the heart, who to go with, what choice to make in love. I do get the sense that there's two energies here. So this could be Yulio and the person that you are connecting with. Tell me about this nine of wands, reverse. Can you tell me about this nine of wands, reverse? Wow, Seven of Swords reverse. So someone here caught someone else doing something they shouldn't have been doing. This person could have been deceptive and got caught in a lie or got caught trying to avoid something, got caught trying to run away here. The Sun reversed. Very unhappy situation here. Leo energy there. Tell me more about this Nine of Wands. Reverse, please. Ten of Cups. So I have the sense, all right, I, I'm getting the sense that this has to do with a family. Possibly it has to do with uh, a connection that was very happy at one point, or this has to do with children, because I have two cards here with children, the Sun and the Ten of Cups. Um, someone got caught probably stepping outside of a marriage or a long-term commitment. Um, maybe whoever got caught doing what they shouldn't have been doing, um, it caused a fracture in a commitment or a family unit. Um, something was fulfilling at some point and no longer is fulfilling because you found something out, Leo. Either you found this out or someone caught you doing something. That you shouldn't have been doing and i think it cost someone to just give up nine of cups reversed at the bottom so this is again um it's like someone got their wish but it ended up being not what they thought it was going to be 
and that's the third nine that comes out here I have a nine of uh, wands here nine of swords tell me about the page of swords please what's this page of swords about someone wants to communicate a message is going to be sent here or there's going to be a conversation here Ooh, someone wants to manifest a connection we have the magician here with the two of cups someone's manifesting um, a partnership a union here and they want to talk about that what else for this page of swords what else for Leo please king of cups reversed this could be someone who is um, heartbroken over something emotionally unstable over something and they they desperately want to manifest it anyway uh, king of cups reverse also tends to be a manipulative a manipulative person they use emotions to manipulate someone else um, they tend to be emotionally unbalanced um, their emotion clouds their judgment so be careful because i think that Either this Page of Swords is about talking to a King of Cups Reverse, or this King of Cups Reverse is the one that wants to manifest this. Either way, it's going to be a mess. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy there with the King of Cups. Knight of Wands at the bottom. Uh, someone wants to rush in here and really make this happen, this Two of Cups. Tell me about this Four of Wands Reverse. Why is the four of wands reverse here? Justice. Libra energy. Someone could be wanting to rebalance a, a, a situation that's very unstable right now. Someone here could be trying to figure out the truth, trying to make a final decision. Let's see what else we get. Tell me about that. Okay. King of wands, five of cups. King of Wands here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. They tend to be someone very um, attractive, go-getter personality, natural born leader, uh, makes things happen. They take action. And I think they're going to take action about this situation here that's unstable, that someone is feeling very regretful or remorseful about. This is someone that's very disappointed, uh, someone that's looking back at the past. Someone could be missing something that they lost. There's been a loss here, a loss of stability, a loss of happiness, a loss of a home life. Uh, this King of Wands, I feel like, wants to take action and rebalance, restabilize something. Um, there could be a legal matter involved with a home. Eight of Swords at the bottom of the deck here. Again, with the, the Swords energy, I feel it very strong here. This, this Seven of Swords, this Nine of Swords, and this... Eight of Swords. I just get like a very strong feeling from the Swords. Uh, same with the Page of Swords as well. I feel like this is a very big conversation or a very important conversation that's going to take place if it hasn't already. But this King of Wands possibly feels stuck. Like their hands are tied, literally. You know, this person's in this picture, their hands are tied. Um, they cannot see where they're going. Uh, they Their fear or their guilt or their anxiety is really making this difficult. Tell me about this Three of Pentacles reverse. This Three of Pentacles reverse about. Wow, the Eight of Swords came out again. Someone feels stuck in a situation that's not working out or stuck in a third party type of situation here. High Priestess came out. Your intuition is guiding you or someone knows something. Someone has a deep knowing, but they're not speaking about it. Like someone could be planning something or has some sort of knowledge. They possibly figured something out or their intuition guided them to see something clearly, but they're not gonna talk about what they know. Ten of Wands. 
yeah, this is a burden. This, this situation that's not working out, that's keeping someone feeling stuck, uh, feeling like they have no way out. It's, it's becoming a burden. Bottom of the deck, moon here. Uh, the moon, Pisces energy. Sorry, I'm like really focused on this moon. We have two tens on the board as well. Something Something's wrapping up here. With the moon, again, someone, something is not as it seems. There is a secret or something going on here that someone doesn't know about or that someone is, is realizing. The moon is an illusion. Something is not as it seems and it causes confusion and doubt, possibly fear. Your intuition uh, needs to be strong here so that you can see things clearly. Tell me about the star. This is Aquarius energy here with the star. What's the star about for Leo? Five of Pentacles. Someone's possibly healing from this struggle or wanting to have some sort of renewal from this struggle, whatever this struggle is. There could be a lack of communication or just a lack of closeness. Tell me more about the star. Wow, three of swords reverse. Definitely healing here. Someone wants to heal a situation. I think with this communication. Again, with the third party energy here. Some of you are definitely in a third party with the person that you're in a connection with. Tell me more about this star. One more, please. Thank you. Whoa. Oh my gosh, three of cups. So it could be that this person wants to heal this so that you can come together. Or again, with the third party, someone doesn't want this to end, Leo. If, if you're with someone that that caused you a lot of pain, that caused you know, something with some, if there was a breakup of some sort, if someone cheated on you, if someone chose someone else over you, um, I feel like you've had enough of that and they don't want this to end. I think they can either sense it or there's been a, like an actual separation. Um, and so this person, I feel like the person you're separated from, they wanna, they wanna heal this, this feeling of being apart from you, this feeling of distance, um, this this being left out in the cold, being left behind, they want to heal that because they, they are resisting something ending here. They're resisting change with the death card. Scorpio energy there. Bottom of the deck, we have the hermit, Virgo energy here. And the hermit reversed is someone who's literally so withdrawn, it's almost like they ran away. Um, it could also mean someone coming back from feeling withdrawn as well. But um, I get the sense it could go both ways in this scenario. Either one person wants to get back together and doesn't want this to end and wants to come together with you. And this person that they want to come together with has literally withdrawn emotionally. Or this person that has withdrawn wants to actually make this happen when it wants to come together it could go either way either you are in this or not i i do get the sense though with the nine of wands with the seven of pentacles reverse i get the sense a lot of time has passed and not only a lot of time has passed but there's a lot of baggage here because of what has already happened in this connection and that baggage is a burden there's a lot, there's a lot here that some, and it's almost like someone knows this with, with the high priestess. They know all the crap they've dealt with. They're tired of the deception. They're tired of, you know, the instability. I feel like the tens are not a coincidence. It's like we have two tens and the death card. I feel like there, this is all like coming together towards an ending. You know, everything is happening towards an ending here and i think you know there are no coincidences at least i don't believe in coincidences i think everything that happened was to show someone 
that there's nothing here for them that that you know if they do want to move forward it's not with this person that's what i'm feeling but they they i mean if you're dealing with someone here they, they don't want this to be over they don't want this to end it could be you that doesn't want this to end or the person you're dealing with um, otherwise, Leo, I'll leave it here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this reading resonated with you. I hope you got something out of it. Um, if it did resonate with you, please leave me a comment. I love to hear from you. Uh, check out the links in the description box if you're interested in a personal reading or follow my Instagram if you want to know when the personal readings will be back up or if you're interested in any of the decks that I use. All of that information is there. And yeah, hopefully I'll see you in another video. Take care.